So, kill all enemies, kill all enemies. So this is bandit guard and archers. So yeah, let's shift to these dudes. And yeah, experience, experience. So... Hey, Tarl, how's it going? To be fair, Tarl, uh, my stream schedule's been honestly kind of weird lately. Yeah. Yeah, magic items are super good in Gloomhaven. Oh, that's so many! <laughs> that's approximately a so many. Uh, I'm doing alright. Can't complain. Target all adjacent enemies. All allies suffer two damage. Can I get one, two, three? Can I get... What's my... Just for all adjacent enemies, do one. Okay, this one's moved two, but... Jump mobilize. No, where was the other one? I just saw it! Was it? Was I looking at the wrong thing? Jump five, immobilize. Ah, here it is. Uh, okay, and then all adjacent, so unstable and jump. Crater, that's it. Scoundrel! Uh, yeah, I've wasted backstab so much. Um, do these have shields? They don't. But is it a too many? We'll find out! <laughs> uh, let's see, you're going at 13, which is pretty quick for you. Yeah, let's do a... I don't want to go too slow, though. Well, if they... Mm. Mm. Move to attack two, then use the attack card on a low card. Uh, move to attack two, move to attack two. And use attack. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, the move to attack two is not bad. I kind of want to use the throwing knives. I'm just not sure where I want to move. Because I want to get down these targets. And throwing knives is also going to do two damage, and then I can clean up. After the, like, opening AoE barrage, I can clean up with throwing knives. So I guess my only option is... I guess my best option is 23. And move 2 should be fine. And if something happens to come to me in that time period, I'll just stab him. So Thieves' Knack, Throwing Knives. Good! Okay, that's going exactly as I wanted. <laughs> Nope! What? Did that not... What? <laughs> Did that not do what I wanted it to? I thought that was a move. Oh, I had it. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Oh, okay, it did it at the start and the... Oh, it does it at the start and the bond. Got it. I missed that first line of text. <laughs> I was focusing on these two. I missed this part. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, see, this is exactly why I wanted to use the throwing knives. 
You gained 15 gold. Hey! Oh, that was a chest chest. So now let's use the pot for cover. Move two, confirm movement. Archer, that's gonna be two damage. That's gonna be one damage. So, let's go here and here. Ah, good. No! Minus two, why? <laughs> Received two damage. Well, at least these two are set up for a nice, clean AoE kill next turn. Receive one damage. You're gonna shoot me. Receive one damage. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah! Avalanche. So yeah, let's Opposing Strike and Avalanche. That card, Thieves' Knack, I always keep for melee because it's only good when you're able to make two attacks in melee, Thieves' Knack. Which one's Thieves' Knack? Oh, yeah. Yeah, disarming a trap is super situational. Generally speaking, I like to save my, like, single out and backstab, like those style of abilities, like flanking strike. Which, speaking of which... Speaking of which, where's no, I don't want to use the backstab for movement yet. Could probably keep the poison. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll use the backstab for movement. Yeah, because they're all super grouped up, so I'll use the backstab for movement and then flanking strike to kill this guy. This is how I usually play the Scoundrel, as I go super fast. Get there. Ah, we rolled a minus one. Oh yeah, the goggles. Probably should have used the goggles there. Receive one. Oh, and I'm poisoned. Rude. Yeah, I'll receive three. And receive one. Okay. Big oof. So retaliate. Avalanche. And Avalanche get these two. Pop! And end the round. Okay, so you really need to heal, friend. Um. Yeah, problem is I used all of my speedy stuff already. Quick hands. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's head let's head over there. So move two, one, two, quick hands, one, two, start stabbing this guy. And then Craig Hart can work for the door. Uh, do I have a Okay, so I can not move and heal myself. That'll be nice. And I just need 
Opposing strike, three damage. Or wait, no, this is currently active. It's the right. Yeah, so let's do this and this. Yeah, okay, going first. So you, oh no, this side, we want this side. So one, two, confirm movement. One, two, confirm movement. Stab, actually, actually. Oh, wait, that didn't, eh, that's fine. Yeah, I I don't know, It. I guess that, mm, the, the timing for using items is really unintuitive for me for some reason, I'm not sure why. Heal first. Well, because with the then confirm, yeah, see, that's the thing, though, is that time I did confirm targets and it immediately used it, as opposed to me using the item. So, like, yeah, I want to see the items I can use, like, over here, not over here. Yeah, we'll take three damage. Sure. Uh, you should heal yourself. And move two. And then you... You have a ranged attack still, right? Yeah, you do. Massive boulder. Door Tornado will be good for the start of the next room. That's true. Yeah, you can pull people into into traps. That's a good option. It's one of the reasons why I, in my physical Gloomhaven game, why I kept the pull on my scoundrel for so long. Okay, so what's... I kind of want to keep that, because I need to heal... So I guess we're just going slow. Yeah, this'll do. So rock tunnel, boulder. Good, so you don't get a turn, fantastic. Uh, so you're going to heal yourself. that not work oh right if you have an effect on you the heal gets rid of the effect and doesn't actually cure you right i forgot uh could you not <laughs> at least it lets you do the like piece by piece movement so that's that that's fairly intuitive Crunch. Then move here. Wait, is that the last room? Is that everyone? No, there's a. Uh... Is that a door? No, this might just be the last room. Because I don't think that's a door. Okay, interesting. If 
Unfortunately, they already went in the other room. I think the one that went was an elite? Yeah, bandit archer elite. Dirt tornado. They're not positioned well for a dirt tornado. But I also kind of just need to heal myself. Yeah, so let's heal, and then when we have the... Or no, we should... No, I'll have to short rest next turn. Yeah, I'll short rest next turn. Yeah, stun hammer. Yep. And then she needs to long rest because she's really low on health. Okay, good. I get the heal first. Also, what's generally their range? Range 2? So if I move... Here... That'll pull him in a little bit, which is going to save me on movement squares. Oof! Big oof! Yeah, I'd rather not take half damage. Thank you very much. All right, pick my card. Single out's going to be kind of tough here. So is backstab. Yeah, I'll get rid of Smoke Bomb. Short rest. Uh, it's not great, but I'm okay with it. Jason allies and enemies suffer one damage. And then we actually wait, I can just yeah. I forgetting about the camera controls. So if I move here and then No. How far can I move with this? Two. So it's one, two. And then I could muddle these two. Or I could get Earthen. Yeah, because they're going to get the extra damage and the extra experience. And I think we count as an ally in this case. But I think I just have to push inward. Acid boulder move. and immobilize. Yeah, so I guess Rumbling Advance and Dirt Tornado. What are we going to do with you, though? Um, let's see. Can't quite get here. 
we're moving here bam bam uh, actually if we go quick no we don't want to go too quick though backstab won't backstab would be great but not quite quick hands how far are we no not quite close enough Single out we can start doing, though. Yeah, probably just throwing knives. Move here, throwing knives. So where's my move three? Move five. Move three. Gets rid of my heal for the round. Move six. Throwing knives. And let's get rid of single out because it's slow. Okay, good. Oh no, but you're in. Ah! Uh, why am I so bad at this game? Um. Shit. Well. At least I got one of them. Yeah, it still works, but it's not my ideal positioning. <laughs> That'll be good. Let's go with that. There we go. Oh, you have to activate. Is that why it hasn't been working for me? That's super annoying. Like that should be automatic. There's no reason that shouldn't be automatic. Yeah, there's no reason that should... I was wondering why that wasn't working. Yeah, that's really, really annoying, um... GUI design. Or at least make it more obvious, because it was faded out like it wasn't an option. Well, I mean, you only have two turns to activate it, so usually you usually you turn the thing on the turn and you're using it the next turn, so yes, there are options where you don't want to use it, but more often you do, and making it look like... So the, the reason why I'm annoyed, and also I'm procrastinating because I don't want to make this choice, um, yeah, I'm just going to burn these two. Because I need, I can't rest next turn. I can't afford it. Um, they're making the, mm, they're making the default don't use it, which isn't correct. <laughs> like the default is you want to use it, not the other way around. Well. That was a shitty turn. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I wanted to move closer with my uh, scoundrel, because, yeah, now the Craigheart's dead. <sighs> so I'm not arguing about the option. It's a matter of how you present it to the user. When something's faded out, it looks like it's not active. But what you need to do is make the default, yes, you want to use it, and make it clear that you can turn it off, not um, 
it's inactive because the the more common you want to have your GUI wait towards the more common choice, which the more obvious choice is you want to use it. But that's okay, because I think I'm pretty screwed here regardless of what I do, so it doesn't super matter right now. Actually, I kind of want to go slow. So let's do quick hands. And... Flanking strike. Oh, that's going to be awkward. Oh, that's nice. Too bad I think I got rid of my pull already. Yeah, see, the, the reason why I'm annoyed is because I understand the system. The GUI's just not making my choices clear. That's why, that's my problem right now. Sure. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I can't attack the... Yeah, and I can't do that just for the experience. Oh, well, that's fair. <laughs> you can't attack open air in the board game either. Wow, are they just not? Okay. I guess they didn't get any move, so. Big oof. And let's get rid of flanking strike. So now we're definitely going to use the goggles. If I don't, I'll be super annoyed. And scoundrel's turn. And round. So we're going to. Throwing knives, special mixture. Okay, good. Okay. So, I'm going to move here and then poison for movement. Let's get movement. Confirm. And now, I select the attack. Okay, so it's glowing. Now it's on, I guess? Do I have to? Oh, that's super unintuitive. That's not, yeah, that's super unintuitive. Like, I get confirming, but yeah, that's... The fact that this didn't change at all 
Like, the confirm should be over here. I think I got this, though. Yeah, like, I think they could solve the item problem really easily. If the items were down here, then it would make sense if the confirm was down here. Or if the confirm for the item was over here. But, you know, it could just be me being nitpicky because I worked with gooey stuff for a long time. That's also a possibility, and I'm just being kind of unreasonable. <laughs> We got this. Uh, you snack, quick hands. Yeah, I think the, I agree the item bar could be significantly bigger. Yeah, we win. Backstab Shiv. Move. Skip. Stabby Stabby. Booyah! I was not expecting to win that fight with the... Uh, with those misplays. Yeah, that definitely wasn't as close. I feel like that one wasn't as close as the last one, because the Scoundrel still had, like, half their cards left. The tank just got wombo comboed. And hey, that's it for this scenario. Ta-da! Got six gold, six in the experience. Human potion. Create a light on your turn. Nice. Our items have lost one durability. Yeah, I don't know how durability works. And now we can just go from here. Interesting. Yeah, and I'm guessing I can buy. Oh no, I can't buy stuff. I don't know how this works, actually. Ah, interesting. Nice. So yeah, that'll help. I guess give them the wand? And then I think that's it for our items. Yeah. Yeah, because I know I can only have one of these. Two out of two items equipped. Two, one out of two items equipped. Yeah, it looks like that's everything I've got, so. See a number right of the item. Yeah, that's the durability, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm guessing that goes down a little bit each time, and yeah, zero goes kaput.